Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Um, first half of my day was a little difficult because I had uh, trouble with that headache again. Um, I went to Walmart. Uh, we needed some stuff, uh, some food stuff to get us through till next Monday. Um, so I went and got some, well I wanted that and I wanted to try out the Instapot. Instant Pot. I keep calling it Instapot. It's Instant Pot. <laughs> Although today it was a eventually pot. <laughs> oh, that was an adventure. But I did I did manage to find um, these at Walmart. These are tension headache medicine. And um, finally said goodbye to Mr. Headache that had been going on for about five or six days on and off. So, um, yeah. So finally, I'd been, um, I knew that it was a tension headache. I just, uh, I hadn't found, this is the first time that I've actually found that medicine at Walmart. I, I'd looked for it before, but they, they hadn't been having it. So I just looked out today and they had some. So uh, yeah, I got me a big bottle because I do tend to get those from time to time. And the tension headaches are basically the barometric pressure headaches. Same thing. So, um, Praise the Lord and pass the peas. It's gone for now. So hopefully it'll stay gone. And um, so that took up a big portion of my day just trying to get over that stupid headache. And then I was trying to figure out how to work the Instapot. Instant pot. <laughs> and it, it's harder than it appears, apparently. Yeah. Too many daggum buttons. <laughs> See, the crock pot has one little knob on the front, you know, high, low, warm. I mean, really, really clear cut, you know. This thing had bajillion buttons. And if you don't do it right, it blows up. <laughs> uh, anyway, so if I'd have known it was that complicated, I might not have put it on my wish list, but I figured, we figured it out. John will come in here and, and help me after I got all goofy and, and spazzed. The test went, went fine because it says clean the pot. It says clean the little insert thing, and so I cleaned it, and then it says put a cup of water in there and run it through a test. So I ran it through its test. It did fine. You know, it went perfectly fine. And so... I put the pork roast in there with the uh, barbecue sauce, but apparently I didn't put enough water in there because it wouldn't completely pressurize and then start cooking. It went to this thing that kept saying burn, and I'm like, what do you mean burn? It's got barbecue sauce in there and a little bit of water, but apparently not enough water. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what's going on with my throat. I get over one thing and now something else is bothering me. Y'all excuse me a minute. I'm hunting an inhaler. <coughs> <coughs> it's the time of year it is. Mm. Let's hope that does it. That's why they call them rescue inhalers. Mm. Uh Anyway, my, my case of COPD is so slight that some people don't even know I have it because there's triggers for my COPD, so dust and, chem, you know, things, uh, and then random, random chokes, you know, where I just get choked and I, and I can't stop coughing. Yeah. And then I had to have the inhaler to rescue me. So, yeah, like that. For no apparent reason. No, no good reason anyway. Uh, anyway. Brief interruption of this program. <laughs> oh. But I'm going to insert a little uh, clip here that I recorded of the Instapot situation. And let y'all see what went down today in Instapot land. <laughs> I'll be right back. Y'all, I am using the Instant Pot. It is currently in its um, building pressure mode. Stay tuned for uh, pulled pork 
barbecue in a couple hours, hopefully. Hmm, I'll record another clip when it's done and show y'all. Well, it's venting. We're gonna see if this works or not. Oh, I'm doing a video. I don't know if that plug works. I found a plug over here. I wonder if that works. I guess I'll find out. Look at that. Hear that? I smell the barbecue. Hmm. We'll find out shortly. Y'all, with this little tool here, you see this is my little meat. Well, this is our little meat breaker upper. I just broke the meat up and look, look, look. I'm going to show you. Yeah, this is what two hours in the pressure cooker did. Hmm, I guess it was worth screaming and hollering at it for. <laughs> we'll see if it tastes as good as it's cooked. Hmm. Hopefully it tastes good. All right, so there you have it. We successfully made pulled pork sandwiches in two hours in the instant pot or the eventually pot. <laughs> And it was good. It had a bit of a different texture than um, what it does when it's cooked, slow cooked in the in the crock pot. But it was still good. It's still good. We'll be eating on that for a day or two probably. That's what we usually do when I make those. I make a roast like that. So there, there's that. Um, but um, it kind of, you know, put a damper on the day a bit with the headache situation. Get, I got up late anyway because uh, I was trying to catch up on sleep. I didn't have anywhere to be or anything to do today, so I just slept as long as I possibly could, 11 o'clock, something like that, and um, got up and went to Walmart. And would you believe that they are already putting out Christmas stuff? Yeah, already with the Christmas crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could... <laughs> I could not believe that already with Christmas. It's not even Halloween, people. <laughs> not that I've decorate. I decorate. I, I'm just not a. I'm not a decorative kind of person. I'm really going to try this year to decorate for Christmas, but I really struggle with it. I just really struggle with it. I do, because I've never been a decorating kind of girl. You know, you see this back behind me. That's as far as I get. I decorate it because it's part of my backdrop for my videos so that y'all have something to stare at besides me. Because <laughs> he wants to look at me all day. Not even myself. <laughs> uh, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. I went to Vince, Vincent's house and he has stuff on his walls. His, his Every wall has is, is got stuff on it. And I'm like, great. He decorates. <laughs> Mind you, the stuff on his wall is all sarcastic. Sarcas sarcasm to sayings, you know. And as I'm reading them, and I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agreed with every one of them. And I was like, oh, God, this is my man. <laughs> Someone went somewhere and designed me a man. <laughs> because I agreed with all the sayings. I was like, did they did they examine my brain and then and then cut these little sayings out for him to hang on his wall? <laughs> Cause they were just like, I was like, oh God, did they, have they been in my brain? <laughs> yeah, it was like that. I was like, holy cow. <laughs> the only thing that that I, I'm not a political person. He had a couple of little political type things on on part part of another wall, and I was like. Mm, okay, but I'm not a, I'm not a person that's into politics, so there's not going to be an argument about politics with between he and I. So it's a non-issue. So whatever his politics are, or his politics, I don't care. <laughs> I don't support one way or the other. It, you know, I'm just like whatever. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, but yeah. Uh, he's very, he has a, he, his humor is, is very similar to my humor. His is a little drier than mine, that's all. But I, I, I get, I get his humor and he gets mine. And it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We have this little funny 
cute way of flirting with each other and it's it's different than what I'm used to and it's good it's really good um, and he's a gentleman through and through and um, that's very refreshing I have to say it really is so um, anyway I don't have much more to show y'all tonight I was hoping to, to have made more progress on this sweater um, but I will tonight. I'll make more progress with it tonight. I'll go get Will's laundry and put it in the washer and put some all in order on the TV and get making progress on that tonight. And um, I'll try to make as much progress with it as possible and try to make progress on Will's blanket because I only have a couple of weeks before the end of the month. And I'd like to get it done by the end of the month if possible. So, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, but her her... Her, her cardigan is, you know, is, is, you know, a priority because she's paid. She's already paid me. So, uh, I do, um, tend to put, um, people that have paid for cardigans to the front of the line of all my projects, even my own kids project. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I think maybe I offended someone by that, by doing that. I don't know. Um, but it's okay if I did, cause well, it's my life, but, um, I, I, I come from a, a customer service background when I was working and, and I have a strong belief that when someone pays you for something that, that you should get on what they paid you for right away and you should get it done to, and, and to them in a timely manner. And, um, so when people pay me for sweaters, I, I, do, I try to get it to them and done to them in a timely manner. Um, and I do it in accordance to I, I, who, whose who's order and whose money did I get first. And, you know, and, and, and I, I do it that way. I do it in accordance to when I received it and who, who, who's in line first. And, um, and when I did tr Trina's, you know, I did, and, and I did Cheryl's at the same time because Cheryl um, and I had an arrangement about a, a swap so you know it's, it's she's paying me in yarn so you know that's a pay to me that's a payment so that's a promise between me and her so that she to me she's she's as much a customer as Trina because we're what I call horse trading so just because she hasn't gotten hers to me yet doesn't mean that she's not in line that's why Trina's went out first and then I got I got um, Cheryl sitting here ready to go. I just got to put the, you know, the rest of what I'm sending her in the bag. And and now I got Shelly's because, you know, Shelly came right after I got done with them. She Here she comes with her order. So, you know, yes, other projects got shoved to the back of the line because I have paying customers. Whether they paid in cash or a promise of yarn. And I don't have to worry about Cheryl not coming through with her end because she and I have been friends for years years now and I, I know she's good for her word so I'm not worried about that but um I think someone got their feelings hurt because I showed a project to the back of the line I don't know I don't know if that's why they're mad at me but that's okay I'm not gonna um change who I am for anyone if I offended them then I'm sorry but you know I'm tired of walking on eggshells to please other people so um you know, that's that. Oh, well. I'm sorry. But, um, you know, it's one of those things that you just, you know, continue to pray for people and um, walk away and, and move on with your life. So, that's what I will do. But, um, anyhow, um, I, <laughs> that's completely off, off subject. But, uh I did deal with the tickle in my throat. I took some Spiriva. If y'all, some of y'all with COPD, y'all know, y'all know what Spiriva is. It's a medication that you, it's an inhalant medication that takes care of tickles like that. It's a daily medication and I just took mine early. So, um, and it took care of the, the problem. So anyway, that's about all I got tonight. It's kind of a short one. Hopefully tomorrow I can get some things done and get, I'm, I'm hoping to, um, get 
in here and do some cleaning and then move this chair out and film the stuff that's behind my chair like I hoped to do before that I've been talking about doing for weeks and I'm sorry uh, and film the yarn that's behind my my chair and show y'all what's in the cubes behind my chair like I've been promising to talk about and show y'all and um and do do something about showing y'all that stuff because I know you're curious you got to be curious that this is a 16 cube organizer so is this one and that's a 12 cube organizer and you could only see just a little bit of it so yeah it's kind of I, I'm I would probably be very curious if I was watching somebody and I, I could only see just a little bit of it I would wonder what was underneath and behind you know so I'll try to get to that tomorrow or sometime soon uh, hopefully I, I don't hopefully the headache doesn't return and ruin my day tomorrow but uh, I don't have, have anything on the agenda tomorrow so hopefully I can get to it tomorrow um, besides crocheting of course but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the, uh, I'm gonna probably be up late tonight anyway crocheting and wa doing laundry so um, I'll get up tomorrow and uh, tackle it I may have to find a mask um, to wear or uh, to keep me from inhaling dust because that also triggers the COPD so I'll probably try to put something over my nose and mouth to keep from inhaling dust while I'm pulling the chair out and sweeping up and everything because I'll be sweeping the floor before I do any film filming of clips because well dog hair and dust does tend to get everywhere around here but um, I love y'all I hope y'all have a wonderful night uh, please know that I love you and so does Jesus and please of course remember to adopt don't shop your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue and I'll see you next time. Bye now